but I, I'm also really interested in the fact that we're becoming more of a data-centric society. So um, we hear about big data. It's going to change the world that we live in um, almost every day. <laughs> you see it in the newspapers. I think it's essential that we become a data literate society. What I mean by that is to be able to read a chart and a graph um, and to critique it. Like when we present data on a map, we believe it to be true. It's, it's just um, because map, we relate maps with facts. But actually, maps um, that are produced inaccurately can lead to bad decisions. And so we need to be able to be able to critique um, data and charts that we see. So I've been working with the New York City uh, public school system in particular. I've been working with a colleague at Brooklyn College and we have created a curriculum to use data visualization to teach math about social justice issues. Um, and so for the first release of the tool um, was about the lottery in New York City. I requested how much sales do they have in lottery tickets and how much people win. And one of the things that you can see quite quickly when that data is presented on a map that people spend a lot more on the lottery than they win. The students can actually explore that through a data visualization. Um, and then they actually can collect the number of stores and calculate the odds, the odds of winning. Um, and so one of the things that this does is they can contextualize what is the lottery, what are odds. One of the things that I'm interested in teaching data literacy is not just contextualizing urban issues and having youth be able to um, interpret that, but also bringing in qualitative information. So the tool, after students look at um, how much money is uh, spent on lottery tickets and how much people win, um, and that they can identify that the odds are always off. They go out into the field using the tool and they interview people who buy lottery tickets and they ask them whether they think the lottery is good or bad. Um, and um, these interviews come into the tool um, and their interviews are actually placed on the map uh, where they take them. And then the next step is the students have to create an opinion about what they think the lottery does in their community. Now that they've explored data through the map, um, this weird, interesting data set about how the lottery operates in the city, and they've taken qualitative information interviews from people um, in the community, they decide whether the lottery is good or bad, and they use the data to make that argument. One of the components of data literacy is to be able to use it to develop an argument. So um, in the case of the Garment District study, I was able to use data to make an argument for why um, zoning should be shelved in the district. Um, so in order to use data, you need to be able to use it to argue for a particular point or idea. And so this gives the youth the opportunity to argue that particular point.